Hello everyone, it's Patty Behan, and I want to thank you for tuning in today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this fun, vibrant, and sparkly card using the newest Simon Hurley stamps and stencils, some of his dye ink pads, a new color of glitter gels. So let's get started. To begin, we're going to do all of our stamping and I have a piece of Simon Hurley white cardstock and I'll be using his new Zesty Clear Photopolymer stamp set. And I'll be using the sentiment, you're my main squeeze. And I have that here all set up on an acrylic block and I'll be using some Ranger Archival ink in jet black to ink up the stamp. And then I'm just going to stamp it in the middle of this piece of cardstock. It's about two inches by four and a half inches. And we're going to be cutting this out later. So I'm just stamping it out in the middle. And then we can set that aside. And next I have another piece of Simon Hurley Stark White cardstock cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'll be using this lemon branch stamp. And I'm going to cut this out later, so I'm just going to stamp it in the middle using Jet Black Archival ink. And then once that's done, we can color it in. And there is a coordinating stencil for this stamp called Lemon Branch. And it's four parts so that you can color in each part of the stencil easily and it will help you to do some shading as well. And what I've done is I've taken um, some Jet Black Archival ink to make the words stand out and they're labeled Lemon Branch 1, 2, 3, and 4. So I have Lemon Branch 1 to begin and that will color in the branch. And to do that, I'm going to use some Gur dye ink and I have a detail blending tool. And I'm working on the Wendy Vecchi craft station and I put down my magnet so the stencil stays in place and I also have the Wendy Vecchi craft sheet below too. So once I color in the branch I go to the next step and that is number two and this will be coloring in the lemons and I'll be using um, some shooting star and over the moon ink to color these in. I'll start with the shooting star and then I have a mini ink blending tool with some dome foam on here and I'll ink up the foam. You can use the regular foam for this process and I'm going to color in all the lemons with this color and then I'm going to add some shading with some over the moon dye ink using the detail blending tool. I'm just coloring over the little black dots there. Next we have number three. We'll color in the leaves with some overzealous. And then number four, we'll use later gator and that adds our shading to the leaves without even having to think about it, which I love. Okay, and so now that that's colored in, on to the next. And what I'm going to do is stamp the background on our card. This is the pinstripe peel apart background stamp and there's eight different pieces and each has a different stripe design on it if you see that there and you can mix and match them any way you want but I'm leaving them as they came and I'm going to stamp the whole front of my card and I'm going to use some psych ink and I have a piece of Simon Hurley cardstock cut for an A2 size card, which is four and a quarter by five and a half when folded. And then I have a piece of just copy paper to protect the back of my card and the inside because I'm stamping directly on the front of the card and I don't want to get any extra ink where it's not necessary. So I'm inking up the whole background stamp here and then I'm going to make sure I line up my card so that it's straight on the stamp and I'm placing it in the middle and then once I position it I'll press down and then I'm going to take a clean brayer and I'll roll it across the card to transfer the ink to the front 
And you see, I did get some ink on my scrap paper, but that doesn't matter because now my front is perfect. So the next thing we're going to do is add some sparkle to our lemon branch. And to do that, I have some Ranger Stickles glitter gels. And I have a new color here, it's called Starshine, and this is Medusa. And I'm going to add the Starshine to the lemons first, and I'll get my stencil again. And this will need step number two. So let me grab that one, and I'll line it up. And then once I get that lined up, I'll put the magnets on there to hold the stencil in place. And then I'll be using a palette knife to put the glitter through the stencil. So once I have it on the back of my palette knife here, I'll just rub it across the stencil. And I just want a thin coat. I don't want a real heavy coat. But if you like a lot of sparkle, feel free to add more. And once that's done, don't forget to put your stencil in a tub of water so that you can clean it off later. Okay, and now I'm going to add some of the Medusa to the leaves. And I could wait for it to dry and use the stencil, but I'm fairly confident that I can just use a palette knife and my finger to apply the glitter gels. So again, I'll put the glitter gels on the back of the palette knife and in the bigger areas it works, but for the smaller areas, I'm just going to take the glitter gel from the back of the palette knife and put it on my finger just to apply it to the leaves there. And I'll repeat that on every leaf. And look how beautiful and sparkly that is. It's just the perfect accent for this stamp. And then once that's done, we'll set that aside to dry. Next, I'll be using this Tiny Circle Stencil by Simon Hurley. And then I have a piece of Simon Hurley Stark White cardstock that I'm grabbing here. It's four and a quarter by two and three quarters and I'll place that down and center the stencil over top. And I'm going to use the Medusa glitter gels and put some on the back of my palette knife. And then here I want a pretty even, but kind of thick coat. And then I'll move my magnets around as I'm filling up the spaces. Again, put your stencil to clean later and look how beautiful and sparkly that is. Now we'll set that aside to dry as well and I'll clean this up and we'll come back for the next step. Okay, so now we're back. I have my card. I cut out my lemon branch and my sentiment here and I have our little glitter gel topper that we're going to glue on first. And this is going to get glued flush to the top of the card with letter it double stick tape. And I've already put the tape on there around all four sides and I'm removing the liner and I'm going to put it flush to the top of the card, just like so. And then once I get it set, I'll stick it down. And then we're going to take our lemon branch and glue it right on the seam there so that it hides it. And again, I'm using the double stick tape and I've already placed it on there and I'll remove the liner tape and make sure I have enough room for my sentiment and stick it down just like so. Just look how beautiful that is. I can't stop looking at it. Okay, now we have to add our sentiment. I put a piece of clear adhesive foam by Letter It already on here to give it some dimension and we'll stick it down in the corner there. And that's it. It's a quick, easy card that you can give to a loved one. And as I'm thinking of it, my anniversary is coming up next month. So I think I'm going to give this to my husband. 
So if you'd like to give this a try, we have a link to the full supply list in the description box below. And for more crafty videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.